So today we're going to be answering two questions. One, do air wing sizes really make a difference? And do, oh my God, I forgot how many of these I actually put in here. Do 100 single fighter air wings actually grant you aces faster? So really quick, I wanted to say this question here was not intended for this video, but someone just asked me on my Discord when I told them that I was going to be doing this video. So why not? We'll start off with that one. So as you can see here, we have 100 air wings of fighter ones. We have no extra air doctrines researched. Uh, as England here, let's go ahead and tag them and turned our... No, the AI is already off, right? Yeah, AI is off. Okay. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of fighter ones and the same exact thing. We have taken all their doctrines away except for the first one. All right, so here we go. First off, let's go ahead and so they won't get that many penalties, let's tag Germany and have Germany declare war on England. All right, so let's go ahead and start these air battles. All right, so something I've noticed right off the bat, it still shows that 100 planes are actually going to be in combat against 100 planes. So it looks like if the planes are in the zone, they're still going to be shot down either way. So let's go ahead and look at the details. As of right now, with a lot of smaller air wings, it still appears that the fighters are in one-on-one -on -one combat. We're going to come back on February 1st, though. Okay, actually, apparently this does work a lot. So, the plane trick works if you want aces. Apparently, this is granting a ridiculous number of aces for us. Uh, yeah, okay. So, apparently, one air wing alone does grant a ridiculous number of aces. Uh, let's go ahead and add one here. Yeah, just by all those planes, we just got a bunch of aces. So that is a pretty cool trick. The guy who told me that on Discord. Thank you so much for that. That That is actually really cool. Okay, so that's how you can get a bunch of aces. But if we look at the air battle themselves, so far the air wings are actually kind of tied. It's, you know, 12 planes were lost on their side. 12 planes were lost on our side. So now let's upgrade this. All right, so we just went ahead and load up our save again. Now we have 1,000 air wings for the United Kingdom, and as Germany, we have 10 100 single air wings. So let's go ahead and deploy these. None of these guys have aces. We went ahead and just load up the save. So this is going to be fresh air combat. And again, okay, actually it does look like Germany is kind of taking the lead here a little bit, but we're only going to be doing it for one month. All right, so it has been one month, and we have actually lost more planes than our enemies. We've lost 141 aircraft to their aircraft, and we have only been able to keep 124, or uh, we've only been able to shoot down 124 of their planes. So now let's swap the numbers around and see if they're different. Now let's see how these air battles are working. So we have 10 100 air wings for the United Kingdom and one 1,000 air wing for Germany. All right, so it is now April Fool's Day, and again, it's about the same amount of losses. We have lost 53 planes, and they have shot, or uh, we've shot down 62. So that is a slight difference of only around 10 aircraft, which I don't really believe would make that big of a difference with all these air wings. So now we're going to change these numbers around again. All right, so here we have 10 100 air wings for Germany again, and for England, we have a uh, 1,000 air wing here so if I don't really see that big of a difference this time I'm gonna pretty much say that it's really not that big of a deal yeah we have one plane missing but that's really not that big a deal so 53 to 59 all right so it has been about a month and as you can see our loss ratios are pretty much the exact same it appears to me that the airplanes will go into the same battle depending or not really even caring about their air wing sizes whether or not they're in 1000 you know a one 1,000 stack of air wings or 10 100 air wings, but so far in the past four tests the results have almost been the same every single time Now as you can see as the United Kingdom we've lost 83 planes Germany or uh, we've shot down 90 German aircraft. So that's only a seven plane difference which in Hoi 4 that's actually not You know based on stats. That's just straight up Hoi deciding hey this one guy is actually kind of a good pilot out of these thousands of air wings or whatever so if the tactic that everyone was saying would work, we would actually have probably lost the 90, or no, this would be sort of accurate, but still, I don't see that big of a difference in the air wing sizes, whether or not you put a thousand in or a hundred in. The only thing I see working for it is if you decide that you want to try to get as many aces as possible, then maybe do that little trick that the guy off my Discord told me. But uh, that's really it. I. 
in my personal opinion, air wing sizes do not matter. It, they just don't because every single test, aside from the one we did here, which I didn't realize that the United Kingdom had air radar, the results have been pretty much almost dead on with being an even match and balance. And as you can see, we still are 18 days away before anyone gets the formation flying or any of that stuff. So, yeah, I just, I, I let me double check here with England, make sure they didn't get it. Yeah, still 18 days. So, personal opinion, air wing sizes don't matter. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me down below if you guys agree the air wing sizes apparently don't matter. And let me know if I'm wrong. Maybe I've overlooked something. I don't know. But down here it's un unbiased. It's in the mountaintops where there's no radar or anything like that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome.